sure these kids will sleep well tonight. In 145, we have another Matawan wrestler, Tom Griffa, who's the number two seed against number one seed Chad Watkins from Ocean Township. Chad is a he's a 12-month wrestler. He's always in summer tournaments. He's had a little problem in the last couple of years. He, he's had at least two uh, knee operations, and he had a, a third one after the state tournament last year. He had after the second one, he had missed the whole uh, dual meet season. Came back to uh, to place uh, third in the states last year. Yeah, he it was unfortunate having Luke Scove, who, as you all know, was a three-time state champion in his weight class. He lost to Luke in the districts. He lost to him in the regions, and he followed him up and. Uh, he lost to, I don't know who he lost to in the States, but I know it was a very close bout and wound up taking third. And again, June did repeat. Chad has a, a history of losing only to the best, though, Joe. He, uh, he lost to a state champion from Neptune, Keith Alston, uh, when he was a uh, freshman. And then as a sophomore, he lost to uh, the eventual state champion, Jim Tenbrook from Millville, in the first rounds of the state. So, he doesn't lose to too many people. You know, Chad's been around a long time. He's been a varsity wrestler since a freshman. Again, Chad's another one, very strong. I believe Chad benches somewhere around 300 pounds. A lot of uh, Chad's wrestling style is, is, is a little more suited to the freestyle wrestling. I know he doesn't particularly like to wrestle freestyle. He doesn't do all that well in freestyle tournaments, but he has picked up an awful lot. You see some of the, the moves that he's doing from top where he's picking up legs, looking for turk rides and, and tilts and things like that, which are uh, basically freestyle moves. A lot of upper body strength here, and he likes to work the upper body moves. Minute and 10 left in the first period. Chad's ahead 2-0. Griff is another familiar wrestling name. His father and his uncle are both well-known officials in the Shore area. Tony Griffa and I believe Lou Griffa is his father. Chad's in pretty good shape here. Through scooping a leg out here, looking to take a turk and possibly a half. Nowhere to go. Oh, yeah, a little bit of lock hands there by Chad. Just so you can see it. Chad working well on top, keeping the pressure on. He's got to keep him on the mat a little more, though. He keeps letting him up to his feet. Chad also had four back. pins on his way to the finals. I believe they were all first two. Took that Navy, grabbed, grabbed the head, and he's got him on his back, Joe. Just ran out of time on that one. In that setback, one of the in, uh, sequences that we work, uh, you can go from that setback right to a navy, and then as the man turns away, you can underhook that top arm, which is exactly what Chad did. And then he went right back, right up to the head. Right? Tried to take it into a cradle, wouldn't go, so we just locked it up. I want you to watch Chad's explosion on the bottom. He really Coach fires off the bottom right into a stand-up. Reversal Watkins, score now 7-0. I saw a shot of Coach Ruck from Ocean Township a few minutes ago. Champions here in the 1979 tournament, Joey. He 
108 champ, Paul Candice, the uh, 148 champ, uh, Chad Watkins, and 158, uh, Jim Loizos. So he's no stranger to sitting in that chair in the finals. He had a little bad luck this week. He lost two of his starting wrestlers through to injuries. Chad's let, get in a little trouble here because he keeps letting uh, Griffith come to his feet. Got to put a little more pressure on top and break him down. So the two Matawan coaches here, Joe Martucci, Steve Cohen. Watkins with a Navy. Griffith turned into him through the half. Side crotch. You got to sink that half a little deeper. Try to pick that head off the mat. There he goes. That's what he wants. Trying to lift the head off the mat to give him to take away his support so he can't bridge. The nice shot right there where we had him grabbing the chin. That's what you want to do when you shoot a half. Come all the way around and grab the chin. Griffin was a district runner-up last year, Joe. And Watkins not showing him a whole lot of respect for his abilities there. Chad's tough. I think Chad's going to be, if he's not a state champ, he's going to be well up there again this year. I think it's going to have to be some bad luck that that'll stop Chad from being a state champ. Let's hope he stays away from his knee injuries. He's already had, uh, as we mentioned before, several operations uh, to repair the knee. Well, what happened to him was he, he went to a doctor several months before the season started. He wanted to have it done at that time, and apparently when they went in, they, they didn't uh, think it was necessary to operate on it. And like the first week of practice, he did injure it in practice and uh, wound up having to have it operated on him. And he did wind up missing the whole, I think the whole dual meet season last year. He did come back in time for the districts and uh, he said did follow through and place third in the states. But, uh, really looks bad. It's just about swollen shut. Okay. Glenn DePaulo making the awards here for the 145 pound bout. Chad Watkins, 145 champion. This next battle ought to be a good one, huh, Glenn? We have a, another rematch here for Glenn. John Benedictson from Manalapan and uh, Glenn Salisbury in uh, black with the white Neptune. And they